Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the video. This time is of the custom Flashpoint Batman by Drones Customs Figures and Millie Works. And let's get started because this is one hell of a piece. Uh, everyone knows I have a custom one made to my specifications, but this one is closer to a lot of comic art you may have seen around. Different belt buckle that my Millie Works, the handguns that are perfectly, and you get those shoulder points. And the reason why those shoulder points are important because it's seen a few times and much later on during the Tom King run. You see that it very much has a uh, distinct look, but I like my look, but I also like this a lot. They've done an excellent job. So let's talk about this cool ass figure. Right, let me just try to get a little bit. There we go. want to get that overhead view, that overarching view. And as you can see, just from a glimpse, as we do a quick run around, drones, cape and bodysuit is absolutely fantastic. It's really cool. The head sculpt is really done so nicely. It makes me want to uh, reconsider getting a different type of sculpt. He definitely does a pointy ear sculpt very nicely. I'm sorry, the short ears sculpt very nicely. Everyone knows I am a fan of the short ears. So yeah, these shoulder pads work very well too. But now let's jump into my favorite part now that we've got to look all the way around to the articulation. Now, we already know the standard Sovereign Knight and how it moves. Now, we've always wondered, like, how does this work, like, work about? So as you can see, these are semi-removable. So if you want, you can move it down the gauntlet, take it off. But even if you move it around, when you push it through, it pretty much holds in its position, only slightly moving and like a way out of the articulation, which is very nice. So that means if I push this back up, it's not too big of an issue. And flexing it around should not be too much of an issue whatsoever. And I like things like that. Otherwise, you're going to get your standard Sovereign Knight articulation where the uh, ab crunch is not as strong as that on the Ascending Knight. Where, as you can see, I've gone forward and it actually doesn't crunch crazy forward. But it does tilt side to side very easily to make up for what you lose in that ab crunch area. This suit is very flexible. It's very nice. And just overall, I'm liking where this is going. Now, the one thing I worried about is how would the straps work. Now, with me... Uh, I chose for mine to be harnessed to the leg, but them being attached to the belt is more screen accurate. Millie Works made something that absolutely works well here. It's something that moves with the figure, and when shown doing jumping poses, it moves with it just fine. These are the kind of things that I worried about, but Millie Works found a way around it with his genius. So as you can see here, this Batman won't have any issue with any of the articulation worries that you thought you may have had. I don't think anything's modified as well either, which is pretty good. So as you can see here, even with the head sculpt, everything moving in a functional way that he holds out pretty well. And I like that. You still get all your standard Sovereign Knight articulation, so you don't have much to worry about. And the drone cape is wired through all the way down and through, the exception of the bottom. So again, you can do things like this. This is an excellent piece that definitely has a standout look to it. It's just different enough from my style to make me try to switch mine up a bit as well. So this is definitely really, really good. And as you can see here, they're holding out with no problem. You also get all your standard hands because you'll be using your Sovereign Knight, unless that's what I assume. <laughs> and what's crazy enough is you definitely get trigger hands with Batman, which is hilarious, but you shouldn't because you know Batman doesn't believe technically in guns. Even though he has technical guns. But you see the Millie Works gun and his craft work is really impeccable, which is very nice. And there are removable magazines. It's very nice. And a holster easily. This is one of those nice pieces that I didn't know I wanted and now I'm happy that I do have it. It's very, very nice. So shout out to these two guys for making a masterpiece of a Batman figure. It's really nice. It's also great to work with these guys for the first time. Well, not Millie Works. I've worked with Millie Works a few times. But it's also great to work with Drone, who's been a pleasure to talk to. I love you, UK guys. You, Craig Warwick, all you guys over there. J. Darko Customs. You guys have been incredibly nice to me, and I appreciate you guys. Now, real quick, though, for those of you that may or may not ever have seen a Batman review, I'm going to do a size comparison. But before I jump into that, I want to show you that he also did a custom Flashpoint base. So if you are into your bases and want to actually attach your figure to bases, he even did a custom base, which is very, very nice. This is a ah, piece of art. Now, 
let's jump to a quick size comparison. So here he is with a Mezco Joker, the Clown Prince of Crime. Here he is with a Deathstroke. And here he is with a Catwoman. And if you're reading the Tom King run, uh, I think you'll know that Catwoman is equally as important to Flashpoint Batman as it is the normal Batman. <clears throat> it's a very nice size that he fits in. Really good. Because nothing's really changed and the head is just a different dynamic. So the feel and the ambiance you get is what's really what this is about. Here he is next to a DC Direct Essential. Oh, I'm sorry, not DC Direct. DC Essentials Black Manta and a DC Icons uh, Nightwing. My Icon uh, Nightwings had his thighs modified for those that are axed. A 1000 Toy Synthetic Human. Another Mezco Gomez body, but it just has my head on it. With a custom neck peg from Action Figure Custom, so shout out to you. And as you can see here, Batman kind of fits across the board differently. Manta, if it was a guy in an armored suit, it'd be okay, but he might be too tall here. Nightwing kind of fits the motif of a smaller, slimmer dude. And the Mezco me on the Gomez body seems a little bit too tall. Cause I'm not a tall guy, but if you're using a Gomez body, I think it'll work out. Last but not least, we're going to compare him to his normal Sovereign Knight body. As you can see the comparison. And now you have the real difference between dad and son here as they are night and day costume-wise, just wearing a bat signal. So those are the kind of things you peep and learn in different then we have stuff like ninjas, because oop, when Batman's fight ninjas, you, you want to be certain of their size, right? So let's put this ninja out, who keeps leaning out on his cape. There we go. Then you have the SHF Kamarada Cougar. And then just for giggles, we're going to do a Mythic Legions Barbarian. Voila, nice stuff. All in all, this has been an amazing piece that I've definitely had fun playing with. And hopefully you guys will enjoy the pictures at the end. It's one of my favorite parts, so hopefully it's yours too. As always, guys, special thanks to Milliworks. Special thanks to Drone Figures Customs. Uh, Drone's Custom Figures, sorry. And special thanks to all of you. Thank you for watching. And as always, hope you found it informative. But please, be good, do good, drink your water. Later. Just a really quick update because I spoke to Drone. And I wanted to clarify that with the base, this is a vinyl that you stick over on your Sovereign Knight base. It actually is just one he sent over to me and I didn't actually know. He told me later after I showed the video. So I want to let you guys know, it is a vinyl sticker you put on top of your base. Keep that in mind.